Hello and welcome to you all as our coverage of the opening fixture of the International Champions Cup gets underway. It is a slightly new concept for some of you, but it is a special invitation event held both stateside and in Asia, as it has been since 2013. Interest in the competition has been phenomenal. It has drawn in crowds of over 100,000, which signal again that football is indeed a worldwide sport. It presents a rare opportunity for fans who cannot travel to watch their clubs or their favourite players to see them right on their own doorstep. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. There is a party atmosphere here, a very, very good turnout. Yes, Peter, as you have intimated, a great stage for, for both clubs. A chance for supporters to, to see their team up close and personal too. And indeed an opportunity to, to grow the fan base and of course expand into new markets. The success of these events is triggering more. And it's wonderful to know that there's a huge appetite to keep them coming. And I hope they do. And we're underway. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I think Edin Dzeko is the one to keep an eye on. His game is all about goals, although he does make other contributions, of course. But can he step it up to a ruthless level and be regarded as one of the very best? That's the question we might be asking later. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. And he just whacks it away. De Rossi plays it forward. Florenzi tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Mane. Nicely controlled. Nice one too. Going through. That is terrific skill. Chan. Mohamed Salah. Can he score? And he's done it! And Liverpool score first! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Liverpool get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Now it's Roberto Firmino. And Firmino! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. defending but that'll do oh that's nice crosses it in low Checo Oxley Chamberlain gets it back aimed long and direct Firmino Mohamed Salah, who has made his impact already. Now, can he capitalise? Firmino, Mohamed Salah. And he's got the final touch there. Goal kick's been given.
good challenge. He just stood firm. Mohamed Salah. And it's Klein. Now it's Mohamed Salah. final action of the first half well there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very very tight well they show glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time and that's definitely pleased the fans i think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half liverpool go in at half time with a slender one goal lead and we're already back on the way here Liverpool carrying a one-goal lead. Firmino pushes it out wide. Nainggolan goes looking. Strickman. Checo. And it's Oxlade-Chamberlain. Chan. And he's going long. Lorenzi De Rossi Strutman Liverpool are still that goal to the good De Rossi They're actually not getting too tight which is interesting No, it's probably Cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept. But no less, he's got himself a free kick. Gets it upfield. Now it's Jekko. Oxley Chamberlain does well to read it and intercepts. And it's Salah. Mohamed Salah takes control of it and he's on the move. Matip cuts it out. Robertson, forward it goes. Mane keeps everyone guessing. And that's been leave it clear. Liverpool are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Salah. Right through the middle. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Klein gets into some space. Firmino. Klein plays it in. Cleared without complication. Liverpool are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And it's Salah. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Basio. And there goes the final whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Yeah, clean sheets and hard grind will help you go places, and they have a resolve that'll envy many. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.
Well, it is day two of the International Champions Cup. The fans getting another chance to see some of their favourite clubs from Europe and beyond. A real party atmosphere, there I say it, a carnival of an atmosphere. Further evidence of the increasing popularity of the beautiful game in countries where previously it wasn't thought possible. The clubs really are putting in a, a massive effort too with fan interaction, a big theme in the time between matches. And the players, I'm glad to report, seem thoroughly to be enjoying their newfound widespread fame as well. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. So the pivotal day, we should know which way this competition is going by the end of it. Yeah, Peter, and as previously mentioned, hopefully football will be the biggest winner here. It's a tournament that, I think it's fair to say, doesn't demand the heights of competitiveness. You know, fitness plays an important part and, and the chance to introduce emerging talent. But it all adds up to a tremendously popular event. And you only have to listen to the noise in this stadium to feel how invested these supporters are. And we're underway. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I'm going to choose Adam Lallana. Exceptional on the turn with his back to goal in opening up more options in that area between the opposition's defence and midfield. His ability to find space in such a crowded spot is so valuable to this team. OK, interesting. Plays it out to the wing. Well played, he saw that coming. And back to base. Simon Mignolet sends that a long way. Out to the left it goes. Robertson. Looks to clip it forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Now it's Lalana. Fires it in low. Boots it to safety. And it's Salah. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Celtic have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. He's made sure that that won't get through. Lovren. Lustig. Out wide to the right. Lustig. He's got options out wide. Lofren knocks it away. And it's Firmino. Back to the keeper and go again. Tries to stroke it through. Sinclair. Oh, sweet feet. Time to deliver. And that's been levered clear. And that's the whistle for half-time. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. That's the first half compared with your expectations. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Grossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you 
missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Mohamed Salah with good energy in defence as well. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Sinclair. And he just whacks it away. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. better of his opposite number Sinclair Lofren gets it away back to the keeper very few chances to talk of Jim defenses it seems on top here yes nil nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot shy nature of this contest but not giving up on it there's plenty energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet the changes then in quick succession well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a he'll have a dip goal finally the breakthrough and it has to be said an absolute gift Celtic, their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Musonda! The lead stays intact just. Musonda couldn't quite put that away, but there's plenty of positives in how they've responded. Cuts it out. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket it's just a stern lecture driving on now what can they conjure from here the final whistle terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny just a goal in it but that was enough well, what are your thoughts on today's game then Jim Liverpool simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. That's it for today. Thank you, Jim.